What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're going to give you a quick rundown of how permissions work in SharePoint and show you how easy it is to hide document libraries from other people. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. All right, before we get started, if you see something you like, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for your support. All right, let's get that timer rolling. Okay, so we got visitors uh, that have access to a whole site, and we just want to restrict them to their own, you know, Team Alpha, Team Bravo document libraries, not see each other's document libraries. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the site permissions. And you know what? This might take longer than 60 seconds, but oh well, it's going to be pretty close. We're going to do our best. We're going to go in here and we're going to create a group. This is going to get be the first one. It's going to be Project Alpha. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to say Create. We're not going to give them access to the site. This is a new group and we're going to plop the people in there who need to be in Alpha, Project Alpha. We know that this person is one of those people and we're going to share all right so now we got that accomplished now we're going to go back in and we're going to strip the access for visitors to both of these document libraries so project alpha alpha we're going to go into that document library and go into the settings library settings more library settings we're going to go to the permissions for that library and we're going to break those permissions we're going to stop inheriting we're going to say okay we're not going to give visitors access we're going to remove that and we're going to grant access to Project Alpha. Whoa. All right. Boom. Share everything. I need to send an email. We'll make it read. Share. And there we go. So we have now just made the people who are in Bravo not able to uh, be able to see what is in the Alpha library. And we can do the same thing with the Bravo or vice versa. All right. So there you go. Now let's slow it down a little bit and let's talk about how all this gets put together and then we'll finish out our scenario here. So first thing to keep in mind, SharePoint. The biggest unit in SharePoint is a site. You get three groups automatically when you have a brand new site. So if we go into site permissions and we go into advanced permissions, we could see members, owners, visitors. We're not going to worry about these guys right now. OK, members, these are like your end users, people who are part of this particular site. Um, so whoever you want to be able to like make changes, add pages, add lists, add stuff to lists, all that good stuff. Like you trust people aren't going to go on there willy nilly and just do all kinds of wild stuff. So they have edit access. Uh, and that means they can like add an entire list or delete an entire list or an entire document library. Next, we got the owners. Full control. They can see everything that's going on. They can go to all stuff. They, they have access to everything. They can manage permissions, all that happy stuff. Visitors, typically these are folks that you just want to be able to come and consume but not like make any changes. Okay, so in this instance, in this read group for the whole site, we have Jake right here doing his thing. Jake's doing his thing. Okay. Okay, so we're going to bounce back, bounce back here, okay, and we're going to go, now we're going to go to Project Bravo, and we're going to fix that one up here. So we're going to go to Project Bravo, go to Library Settings, More Library Settings, we're going go to Permissions, and we're going to make sure that we are not inheriting, because we're going to stop inheriting, and we're going to not give these folks access, okay, but we are going to give bravo access so we go oh we didn't create that group yet oh snap so let's go back okay we're gonna go to the uh we gotta go create another group uh sharepoint group and we're gonna go to site settings and site permissions and we're gonna create another group this is gonna be for project bravo and they're gonna be the only ones with access to project bravo we're not gonna give them access to the whole site here just leave it blank. We're not really giving them access to anything. This is just a container. We're going to populate that container with the people that we want to be able to use this uh, and be a part of this group and use this group in permissions. 
Um, now, in this particular case, I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, we're not going to put Jake in there, and we're going to see how that affects Jake. So if we, let's go to, uh, let's go back, and we're going to go back to Project Bravo Library, Permissions, okay? Now we're going to grant access here to Project Bravo, but not Alpha. Share everything, no email, and just read access, share. All right, so let's bring someone uh, logged in. Okay, so we'll bring Jake over and see how that works out for Jake. We're logged in as Jake. We're going to refresh real quick, and we're going to document libraries. Notice how you only see Project Alpha here, not Project Bravo. Okay, but if you log in as uh, admin, and if you log in as admin, and you can see document libraries, Alpha, and Bravo. So there you go. You were successful in hiding document libraries. Just populate your groups, and you'll be good to go. So to recap, SharePoint permissions start at the top level. You have your three default groups, owners, members, and visitors. And then if you need to break things down a little bit further underneath the hood, like as in document libraries, you can stop inheriting that permission, you know, remove the group that, you know, you don't want to have access, add the new group that you just created, uh, and then you'll be able to restrict permissions that way. Hopefully this helps. Please let us know if you want to see more or see a specific detail about anything. We'd love to make that video for you. Until then, do the very best you can with what you got. Thank you so much for helping us get to that 4,000 follower mark. We appreciate you. See you next time. Oh, what am I thinking? SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my